Welcome back. We are now in phase three, so let's just jump right into it. So step one of phase three is now that you have built your team because that was phase two um, and you're looking to get more clients, you need to grow your team. Step one is you need to expand your team. Now, you don't want to just expand your team because, again, when you hire a full-time person, it is expensive. It costs cost you anywhere from fifty to $75,000 per year. And even on the low end, maybe you're doing thirty to $40,000 a year for one person. So I'd recommend when you're expanding your team and you need to grow from fifty k and higher, you need to really consider expanding your team using an outsourced white-labeled provider such as DashClicks. The reason why I mention this is not because, um, is not because that you're only going to save costs. Which, by the way, if you use Dash Clicks, it's like a fraction of the fraction of of the price you would spend on hiring a full time person. But it will scale with you. If you hire one person, they'll only be useful with that one service, doing that one thing for X amount of clients, and then they're capped off. You got to get another one. But with a white labeled outsourced marketing agency service provider like Dashclicks, it doesn't matter how many clients you get. You basically just pay a little bit towards Dashclicks per client, and then the white labeled marketing team scales with you pretty much unlimited. And it will be our responsibility at Dash Clicks to hire more people to help out and get that done and train them and make sure we hire the right people. So the agency, white labeled agency service provider will scale with you and you spend way less money. So that's step one that you really need to consider. Step two is actually kind of along the lines of what I just mentioned, but it's you got to try outsourcing. Every solution that you need an answer to or every challenge that you think you need an answer to, like... Um, I need a VA. I need, I need, um, I need someone to come in and, and do this or prep my taxes or, you know, what literally whatever it is. Cause as a business, there's just unlimited tasks and things that need to get done, but don't be afraid to outsource. That's step two. Like I mentioned in above, you can reuse these strategies, right? Upwork, Fiverr, you can find help for a fraction of the price. And so when you're growing and you're getting growing pains and things are getting uncomfortable and you're trying to figure things out, you don't have to always hire um, a full-time person. You can outsource. And then actually, when you kind of get to a point where you feel like this is a long-term job, I need like someone to really be internal and do it, then consider hiring someone. Step three is you could resell white label services. So here's another benefit. This is actually quite cool. So when you work with like Dash Clicks and you use our white label fulfillment team, Essentially, you're reselling our services under your name. But what we did even, what we did to expand that was remember when I mentioned before, and I think the first video is phase one, where you get to use the Dash Clicks platform. Maybe this was another train, but anyways, you get to use the Dash Clicks dashboard as a reporting tool. Let me give you some context. So if you use one of our services as a white label, we you brand it towards you so no one knows it's us they only see your branding um it comes with a white labeled and free software that you get to use so sign up for your dash clicks account it's free that's the software i'm talking about the software has everything you need to manage and run a full-scale marketing agency but also you get to use that and give it access to your clients so they get their own dash clicks um dashboard which is white labeled so when you give them access to their own dashboard, it'll have your branding on it. What does this dashboard do, you wonder? Well, I'll tell you. It basically gives your clients a bird's eye view and insight into what results you're providing them with the campaigns you're running. So if they want to see reports on Google ads, Facebook ads, SEO, whatever it is, they can log into your white, the white label dashboard and view all the reporting. So you don't have to spend much time working with them on calls or anything. You just tell them to log in. They can see all the results. So that software, this this is the point, that software you give as a reporting tool, you can also resell it because we have different tiers with different features. You could resell this tool to, to your clients. We call those sub accounts. And if they purchase a package to, you know, the pro plan or the premium plan or whatever to use those features, Dashclicks will pay you out directly. You don't have to charge them. You don't have to do anything like that. 
So you could resell the software. So the same software that you use to manage your business, your deals, um, all that stuff, contacts, templates, text messages, blah, blah, blah. You get to resell that software to your clients too. So the software is resellable. So not only do you get the white labeled marketing agency the, or the white labeled marketing uh, services, there you go, but you can also add an extra stream of revenue into your agency by reselling the management software that you use to manage your business. It's that powerful. It's super cool. So check it out. Log in. There's a training on this as well in Udemy. So browse around for resell, how to become a reseller. Um, and that training will show you what I'm talking about more in depth. Step four is create a repeatable upselling process. Remember before when I mentioned you need to come up with a, a predictable lead generation method. Same thing applies here. You need, to re you need to create a repeatable upsell process. Here's my point. When you get clients on, like SEO or whatever, they're only paying a certain amount per month, $500, whatever to you. You get 400 more of those. You're doing pretty well. Awesome. But to scale, that means you have to get more clients. That's It takes a lot of bandwidth to get a client. So that's not completely scalable. But what you can do is upsell your current clients. If they're spending 500 on SEO, what plan do we have in place to get them on the next service or upgrade their SEO or get them in a paid sub account? right? We sold white label software. You need to come up with a plan to continually increase your client's lifetime value or other words, how much they're spending with you each month over a long period of time. And so, um, you need to make sure you follow things like you need to, re you need to record important details. You need to contact, you need to be in contact with your clients. You need to record data. You need to see how people respond to certain things. Um, you need to see what people want. This is kind of a data collecting process. It might take time, but this is really valuable to know when you get a client, what's the next step you're going to put them in, um, at, as they continue their client journey with you. Sometimes we call this a value ladder. You get people in on a low cost dollar amount, $50 doesn't really matter. Then three months later, our plan is to get them on 150. Three months later, our plan is to get them on 200. You can see where this is going. So now they're a fully implemented client spending $20,000 a month with you. What does that plan look like? And is it predictable? Got two more points I want to share with you. Step five is hire a business development team. So at this point, now sales is becoming hard for you to manage fully yourself, especially if you're trying to scale quickly. So at this point, you need to replace yourself, decentralize yourself and get a full scale sales team and you're hiring business development, salespeople, sales reps, you're building lists, you're doing email, heavy email marketing, you're cold calling, you're setting appointments, you have setters, you have closers, you have a full department dedicated to uh, uh, producing opportunity and just essentially sales. Take yourself out of it. Step six and the final step for this is review and analysis. You're doing a ton of stuff. You're scaling, revenues coming in, clients, all this stuff. You need to make sure you're logging your data. You know how to analyze it. You know how to make well-informed decisions off that data. And at this point, in conclusion, I mean, like I mentioned before, you've decentralized yourself. Now you're just a data analyzer. You're looking at what's going on, what's working, what's not. Then you need to make decisions on how to take that and put it and give direction to your teams to push the company forward. So I hope you enjoyed this training and I hope you saw how you can start an agency and go from doing it yourself to scaling up to 5,000, to 20,000, to 20,000, to 50,000, 50,000, and beyond. And the things you really need to consider. And if you really put time and effort into following these steps, dissecting them, making sure you're hitting your goals, you're, you're following, you're decentralizing yourself, you're really going to be shocked how far you can get in your marketing agency. So as always, if you haven't done, if you haven't already done so, make sure you sign up for your forever free Dash Clicks account. Check it out; it's a super cool software. Has everything you need in software wise to manage and scale a full scale marketing agency and all the and all the white labeled fulfillment team you need to provide the services. So, until next time, guys, enjoy, and I'll see you in the next training.